Welcome to the Systems Thinker, a video series to help you know the whole, focus on the constraint and reach your goal. In our day and age, we generate new knowledge at an astonishing rate. That makes it impossible for anyone to have the level of expertise demanded by any given domain unless they are themselves immersed in that domain. When I first started using the theory of constraints some 25 years ago, critical chain project management had just been invented, building on the earlier success of drum buffer row production scheduling. Since then, there's been an explosion of methods, tools and approaches where the insights of TOC have proved invaluable. Across every industry sector, the suite of TOC methods used to address project, production and supply chain management challenges has proved capable of delivering results that would otherwise be thought unreasonable and impossible. But, even as a veteran in the field, I have to defer to colleagues from the community regarding the nitty-gritty of the technical solution design. I have realised, though, that if all I have in my toolkit is a hammer called TOC, every problem case I review looks remarkably like a nail. So, I broadened my question set to ask not only how I can improve the logic of the planning and performance of work, but also how people come to learn these new ways of working, and what principles inform the design of an organisation looking to exploit the insights TOC delivers. The author Matt Ridley describes innovation as what happens when ideas have sex. Bringing together into a menage, leading thinking from the fields of operations management, organizational design and organizational development has proved a rich seam for lifelong learning. To successfully bring a big idea like TOC to its full potential, it's not enough to specialize only in the know-how. You need to address the equally critical questions of know why and know who. You will likely never know everything there is to know in the hyper-specialized subdomain of a subdomain but you will have an elegant efficiency of knowledge to bring innovations to the question of productivity. My course for Systems Thinkers explores innovations in productivity. To learn more and experience what I mean, click the link in the comments below.